Brisbane and South East Queensland have so much going for them at the moment, not just historically speaking, but in terms of population, infrastructure, vacancy rates, affordability, rent returns, and the coming Olympic Games. So in this video, we're gonna explain six reasons we're personally investing in this market at the moment. <laughs> First things first, we've got to address the elephant in the room, 2032 Olympics. Now, I feel like a broken record here, but some of the data coming out about the Olympics is amazing, man. The winner is Brisbane. <laughs> I love it, man. I'm so excited about it. It's I, huge. I, I was so pumped watching that thing. I was like, come on, Aussies. <laughs> yeah, I was like, literally, I never watched the news, but I was like on the countdown for like three hours leading up to it. And I'm like... The winners Brisbane and I'm like awesome. It was like not like the Sydney one, which have felt you know what I mean. Like, yeah, it felt like a bit of an anti climax for sure. <laughs> but like, what are some of the numbers that we've sort of seen coming out of that? The Olympics is super exciting, man. Like mm. I know I was watching it on the telly and very very excited when I heard. Not just because I'm an investor, but for what it means for other people living and investing in Brisbane over the next eleven mm. years. But why Olympic Games are so important is the infrastructure that it brings, plus the eyeballs. So. I think you and I looked at some of Catherine Cashmore's stuff and in Sydney between 97 and 2003, prices went up by 97%. That's massive, man. Huge. Now, we saw an article from the Australian Financial Review recently called Could House Prices in Brisbane Double Between Now and 2032? The key question mark there is could. We've got no <laughs> idea what's going to happen, but Nobody. it looks positive. And when Catherine Cashmore went and looked back at previous you know, Olympic Games in almost every instant over the last 20 years, house prices or real estate has increased by between 30 to 100% mm. in the city leading up to and shortly after the, the Olympic Games. It's obviously not just the Olympics that we love Brisbane as well. You know, it's just one of the six reasons we thought we'd bring up. But one of the other big things that we absolutely love is just the population growth occurring up here at the moment. Now, Southeast Queensland is the fastest growing area in Australia right now. There was over 30,000 people that moved up throughout COVID and there's expected to be over 25,000 people to move up before March of next year. Insane, bro. Like off the back of that population is this infrastructure spike that we've seen. Now, this isn't just Brizzy. This is Australia wide at the moment. Yeah. Um, you know, the government's rushed in as part of their COVID bailout with their infrastructure program and it's going to result in unprecedented stuff over the next five years. But Brizzy's got the um, metro, it's got the um, cross city tunnel, it's got the light rail going in. On top of that, there's major projects in Hamilton, Cleveland, Redland Bay, up in Chermside. You've got the huge university being built up there in Petrie, which is amazing as well. Like wherever you go in the city and also on the Goldie and the Sunny Coast, there's just stuff going on right now. Yeah, seriously. And I looked at that big infrastructure development for the Brisbane airport, what's expected to happen there before the Olympics is just massive. So one of the things that I've noticed with this population growth at the moment and obviously no new dwelling stock being available is vacancy rates. Hon Where are they at at the moment? Honestly, those vacancy rates are so tight right now in Brisbane. SQM's most recent update indicated that those vacancy rates are sitting at 1.6% right now. Now that is Brisbane as a whole. And we still know that there is a little bit of shakiness in the CBD with some of those apartments. But most of those areas, most of those suburbs on the outskirts of town, you're seeing vacancy rates sitting somewhere between 0.5 of a percent and like 1.5 percent right now, which means it is really difficult for people to find rental accommodation up here, which is forcing people to buy properties instead of rent properties when they are moving up. And it has actually increased the rents dramatically as well. That's an important point, man. Like what I've noticed is that for many people with interest rates as low as they are in many suburbs from the sunny coast to the Goldie, it's actually significantly cheaper to own for the first time in a yep. decade. And that's driving more and more demand into the market on top of the people coming across the border. Yeah, like I think Sunshine Coast recorded about a 15% increase in rental values over 12 months, which is so tough for the locals. I love it, man. So, you know, the fifth thing that's important to both of us is we love history and we love looking back at the past as oh, yeah. a predictor of what potentially could happen. Now, what's interesting about Brisbane is some suburbs close to the CBD within about 7Ks have gone ballistic in the last 10 years. Some of them have grown by 5% a year, others have done over 10% per annum. But 
Like Sydney and Melbourne, when they started to go through their growth cycle back in 2011 and 12, it didn't all happen in the same way. First, it was the city centre, then the beachside suburbs, then the surrounding neighbouring suburbs too. And so when I look at Brisbane, the long-term performance over 50 years has been really in line with Sydney and Melbourne at over 9.5% averaged out over that period of time. But if I look at the 10-year performance of many suburbs just a bit outside the city, sort of between 19 and 30 mm -hmm. k's, these suburbs are sitting at under 2% growth, under 3% growth per annum, which means they have much more gas left in the tank. And this is the sixth reason why we love Brisbane, is the fact that there's markets within markets. You know, people tend to generalise when they're looking to invest in certain areas and they couple everything in together. But after looking at some of the research, you know, comparing an area 6Ks from the city like Cannon Hill that's done 5% year on year over the last 10 years compared to an area about 21Ks from the city to the south in Slacks Creek that's only done 2.6. Mm. So if you can use that ripple effect to your advantage, you can sometimes identify areas that haven't performed as well but have the same indicators that look just as good as those areas that have performed extremely well in recent years. You know, I love Brisbane at the moment, man. It's coming off a very low base with good infrastructure, good population. Obviously, you know, the golden ticket of the Olympics coming in terms of what it's going to bring to the city as well. If you're anything like myself and Simon and looking to take advantage of Brisbane over the next 15 years, then please jump over to our website, www.pumpedonproperty.com. Book in a complimentary strategy session with myself, Simon, or one of the team over here. We can talk about where you are, where you'd like to be in the future. We can also educate you on the market, and then you can take that information, go and absolutely smash it on your own. Alternatively, you might become one of the small number of people we work with each month. But either way, we're super excited about this city and about the potential for performance. And you know, we've certainly got our own skin in the game up here at the moment. We wish you all the best with whatever decision you make. Sweaty. So sweaty.